Breakfast will be ready shortly. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Hi, Tom. Oh, that's a nice surprise. I've been excited to take a look at these. They told me you were out here, so how are you? I'm terrific. How are you? How you doing? Is this, this is Stinger mascot? the Hornet, our Stinger. mascot. <laughs> Stinger. And this is Shantae, one Hi, of Shantae. our new RAs. Nice to meet you. So you're going to be an RA here, huh? Yes, I am. That's good. Are you going to be making sure that nobody does anything out of line? Yes. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> good. So police everything and yeah. discipline. That's good. These are really nice, Kevin. Aren't they? So can you, can you talk about a little bit how many um, apartments there are here? Right, but I think 85 units about 85. for 334 students and one apartment for the full-time professional uh, director of the building. So there's going to be a full-time professional director? Okay. Yes. Great. And, and in this apartment, so we've got this nice kitchen, looks like you were preparing something for them. And now we have what would be, I guess, the living room. The living room. Right. And this is shared. Okay. Uh, each unit is four bedrooms. Four? Four bedrooms, two doubles, two singles. Okay. So you have two larger bedrooms on the end mm -hmm. for doubles and then uh, two singles as well. So uh, that would be four. Uh, for, uh, six students actually uh, designed for each. Six students, each, okay. For each unit. Let's ask Kevin a little bit, like a brief history. Why, why now? Why dorms now up here? Would that be something you'd care to get out? Well, yeah. Uh, <coughs> actually, we will be the 25th of the 30 community colleges in SUNY to have housing on campus. So, in order to stay competitive with our sister institutions, yeah. Uh, it was time uh, to do it. In fact, it's a, it's a rapid trend across the country, not just in New York. Community colleges are, are adding uh, residence halls at a good clip all across the country uh, because of the move toward uh, more full-time study and, and more serious study and uh, helping mm. to get more students through college. And, and resident students tend to do better in college. Well, I think if I don't, coming as a non-professional in your uh, not understanding your business like you do, certainly, it would seem to me like that the whole experience of college is better if you're living away and living on campus and doing those kind of things. Yeah, in general, it's less stressful than living home with family. Yeah. You, you and I know how well, we know uh, how well that, that, that can be. Uh, that can be stressful, where your time is your own. Yeah, uh, you're not spending time in the car. You're not right. spending your money on gas. You are sure. spending, of course, on, on rent and food, but. You're not spending the time in the car commuting, and if you live 20, 30, 40 miles out, as many of our students do, you add up, you right. know, 45 minutes each way every day, you know, three, five days a week for nine months, all that time could be spent studying. Or, uh, or having some fun here and there. We, okay. we want students to have some fun as well. So, Kevin, these apartments come fully furnished, and they are um, either, they range between uh, 34, 65, for a double room occupancy and 3,800 and change under 3,900 for a single. For a single, correct. Okay, great. All right, let's take a look at the let's take a look at these nice apartments. Yeah, really let's take a look at the uh, at the single and uh, double here and and the, and the size of the bathroom. This is bigger than my bathroom, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite, but look at the size of this bathroom. Yeah, this is great. I mean. Uh, they're uh, terrific. Nobody's going to be claustrophobic uh, in here, and uh, if they have one too many guests, I guess somebody could put a, a couple of sleeping bags on the floor. These bathrooms are so big. Um, and and the, this is going to be kind of like This is a... kind of walk-in open closet area. I mean, okay. you know, for, for some, you never have enough closet space. And uh, this is the double. Well, these are nice sizes, though. Yeah, yeah. they're good size. They're yeah. absolutely good size. Okay. And then this occurred. And this is the single. All right, now, so there's one of, there's one of each of these on each side of the yes. kitchen, right? Yes, they're mirror uh, <clears throat> images of, uh, of each other here with the singles and the, uh, and the doubles. Okay, so now down here we've got the same thing, mirror image, another full bath. Another full bath, and down here, exactly. Another, uh, another single and another double. And whether they're doubles or singles, these rooms are about twice the size of what I experienced in college. Probably you too. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. So, um, and an extra sink, so that somebody can be brushing their teeth or washing their face in case the bathrooms are uh, right. occupied in the morning. And this is obviously great space. The uh, living dining uh, area here. Uh, so students are just not going to be claustrophobic in these uh, spaces. They're they're really nice and spacious and tall ceilings and a lot of picture windows. windows. Yeah, a lot of daylight. Really. Uh, and speaking of the windows, one thing that uh, this 
complex has going for it, and quite honestly, why we call it a student village mm -hmm. uh, instead of simply student housing is because of all the great services that are located di directly across sure, the street sure. and within a half a mile walk or less of here. There's a dozen businesses that students yeah. will be frequenting on a regular uh, basis, whether it's the, uh, the movie theater or the pizza shop or the credit union sure, uh, directly sure. across the street. You've got the, the botanical garden, a uh, nice walk for a date. Sure, sure. Uh, right, you're about sure. five minutes uh, down the road, the convenience store. Uh, and uh, Mains is just uh, less than half a mile and up the road to go do your uh, grocery shopping. You forgot the movie theaters. No, I mentioned the theater. Did right? you? Okay. Yeah, I did. We've got a multiplex. <laughs> well, then, I, uh, then I forgot we've it. We've got okay. a multiplex cinema right across the street. So, the bus and, and Wednesday night is the is the discount night for uh, for movies. Does the bus okay. come here? The bus comes here. And in fact, if you're a student at SUNY Broome, all you have to do is show your student ID and you get on the bus. You don't pay anything. It's it's part of the transportation fee that every student pays. You should get a free pass to the bus. Shanti Cochrane is one of the RAs here at uh, yeah. the student village, as Kevin called it. And I was wondering, Shante, you know, what are your thoughts about this? Is this your, what are your thoughts about this? I think it's a great idea. Being a student, I'm a student from New York City. Mm -hmm. I'm from Queens and coming here was really an ordeal for me because I have to leave my family. First I had to leave Jamaica. I'm also from Jamaica two years now that I've been in this country. So it's really a change for me. Mm -hmm. and so when I came here, I had to stay with my brother because he lives here in Binghamton and it took me over a month to find an apartment in Johnson City. So with them having the residential hall, it was a great idea because it was stopped being, I was really uncomfortable. I had to wake up early, go and try to find a place on the weekends, trying to find a place during the week. So it's really hectic. So being here on the residential hall is really great. So it'll stop all of that uncomfortableness, the hecticness. I, it's really good. I like it. Great. So there's a testimonial. Kevin, this is great. What you're doing here in this campus is just fantastic. And I think that this housing is just typical of the kind of progress you've been making here. So thanks from the area, and good luck with it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Shantae.